Hello all, I am Harry Keynes for the Block Festival. The Block Festival is a celebration of independent vision and artistic expression. This year's festival will be held on Friday, September 28th and Saturday, September 29th in downtown Logan Historic Theater District. At this time, I wish to introduce you to Anna Liquin. Hello, Anna. Hi. Anna is the prevention coordinator at CAPSA, one of Cache Valley's most respected and important organizations. Anna, tell us a little bit about CAPSA and its mission. Yeah, I would love to. Um, so CAPSA is a domestic violence agency, rape recovery and trauma healing center. Um, we're actually located in Logan. We service Rich County and Cache County. Um, we actually help men, women, and children. Our mission is really to end abuse. That's our mission. Our mission is to end abuse not just in adults, but in our youth. And so as a prevention educator, I have the opportunity to go into the schools and to teach our youth and to empower them by teaching them skills and tools necessary for them to develop healthy relationships throughout their lifespan. Now, where is CAPSA located in Cache Valley? So we're located in Logan. Unfortunately, I can't disclose our location. Understandable. Um, CAPSA this is to make sure that the privacy of the people that go there is, yes. is held. We, yes, exactly. And we actually have a shelter that's located right next to behind our offices, and so that's the reason why we don't disclose it. We don't want to um, disclose anything that could possibly harm um, any of our clients as well. So. Well, more than understandable and reasonable. So you will be participating for the first time, CAPSA, at the Block Festival. Tell us a little bit about what you will be doing at the festival this year. Yeah, this is, we're so excited. So we are going to be doing, uh, so what originally started is as a youth media contest that we held. It's actually entitled as Uniquely You mm -hmm. um, and how students can be upstanders and upstanders someone who stands up before, during, or after harm or violence has happened um, and how their qualities help them to do that. The reason why we've chosen to do this this year and to partner with the Block Festival is that originally we did we had a contest that was held throughout the state, uh, and unfortunately the state chose not to do it again this year. And the Block Festival was one of the best ways for us to do this. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to empower our youth. Um, empower is a big word, right? It's very much to give them especially a voice. for young people. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's to give them a voice and for our community to hear them. Um, whether it's vote, whether it's art, whether it's written work, whether it's music or radio, whatever, we are giving them this opportunity. Now, all of them will, will be winners. We're not. We're not just. This will not be a competition. Yeah, basically, we're not going to be like you can't win. Um, we're giving them a chance to speak up and to show what they have. Um, it's been a really great opportunity. CAPSA has actually partnered with Move Pet, which is a coalition. It's Northern Utah Violence Prevention Education Coalition. Um, and putting this together um, because that the coalition's goal is really to reduce any sexual violence that's happening in our youth here in Cache Valley and Rich County as well. So you mentioned that there's going to be music, art, and also essays. Yes. Explain a little bit about any of the children that want to come and participate in this, what exactly they can do, what resources will be available, and, and how will they be able to participate specifically? Perfect, so we're still, we've actually had, due to high demand, we still um, have the submission deadline open. Um, originally the de deadline was last week, but we chose to extend it because a lot of kids are really interested in this. And so if they're interested in participating, whether it's sending me an essay or submitting any artwork, which they can just send me the artwork and then I can come get it. Um, they just send it to my email, which is Anna, A-N-A, at CAPSA, C-A-P-S-A, dot org. Um, and then I'll send them a submission form that their parents will need to sign. We will need to get parent approval from that. Um, and the really nice thing about it is that we have had some submission work already. And some of the things that they have written in there has just been for me, honestly, I keep using that word empowering, but it has been empowering for me. Um, and so we're not going to be disclosing any names, we're going to be taking the names out just because some have disclosed some things in their, in their work. Um, but that's for Cash Valley to come and see, and see that these youth have power, and that they deserve to be heard. Um, so if any youth are wanting to participate, they can definitely email me. So. What are things, or I should say, what are festivals like The Block so good for getting the kind of information that CAPSA should be getting out to the general public? Are you looking forward to this two-day event and seeing everyone walking around and hopefully they're going to come over and speak to you? Yes. 
This has been such a huge, great opportunity for CAPSA because not only have we partnered with such an amazing organization as the Block Festival, but this is an opportunity for us to raise awareness of what we're doing. Um, and not only that, but for the community to see that we're here to help. Our services are all free, they're all confidential, and we're here to help anyone. It's men, women, and children. We don't just help women and children, we help anyone. Um, and so this honestly has been a great partnership and we're looking forward to the partnerships to follow for the following years and it's just, it's been great. It's been great. Well, we have been speaking to Anna Liquin, who is the Prevention Coordinator at CAPSA. Anna Liquin and CAPSA can be seen at the Block Festival on September 28th and 29th in downtown Logan Historic Theater District. To purchase a pass, see the full schedule of events, or to volunteer, please visit theblockfestival.org or find us on Facebook or Instagram. For The Block, I am Harry Keyes.